Okay. I know on my uh, channel, my YouTube channel here, I've got several text videos where I attempt to describe what I have observed to be a very underlying cause of the entire human dilemma and <clears throat> that underlying cause is language more specifically more specifically the technology of language and what it has done and continues to do to the human species. Well, I know it's kind of a paradox or an irony or however you want to describe it for me to use language to describe language because, well, I don't know. Richard Dawkins described it as mimetic, but even still, I mean, in the simplest terms, language is a very crucial element in the underlying cause of a lot of uh, the human species problem. Um, it happens so subtly so slowly that we don't even acknowledge what's going on with it. I mean, I mean, when we're very young um, and we first learn to say that very first word, uh, in many cases it's mommy, um, but, you know, we start to, as infants and toddlers, we begin to articulate, um, you know, language, you know, um, first we learn to speak it, and then later on we learn how to write it, and <clears throat> You know, and as we get older, it, you know, basically uh, starts to formulate, you know, any particular mindset, a group mindset, um, your mindset versus your parents' mindset, your, mi your mindset versus the other kids' mindset. You know, don't, don't sh doesn't anybody understand what it is I'm trying to say? How language is, well, hate, hate to sound cliche, but language is like a virus. It, it works into our, uh, our intellects and our instincts and through the course of our childhood development, it subdues us. It subdues our natural instincts and intellects because we've, we're, we're being barraged by um, 
all the stuff that we we learn in school um, the books we read uh, the lectures in that we listen to from our teachers um, and then you know uh, that <laughs> to me is probably the most crucial element that keeps groups together is this artificial intelligence that we continually share with one another you know um, I don't know how else to explain it I don't have uh, good command of the English language or, or any other language other than um, I guess what you could call uh, observable languages like body language you know emotional language and whatnot. a lot of those things that people just don't even think about, you know, uh, and we are not the only animals on this planet that manifest those natural or kinds of communication. I mean, I'm not talking about, you know, the sounds that other animals make, you know, or the sounds that we make. I'm talking about, you know, body language, you know, posture, um, just our overall emotional state that communicates, you know, um, stuff like that. But over, I don't know how long we humans have been speaking, but I would imagine Just, just a ballpark guess would be around 500,000 years, maybe a million. But doesn't anybody else see the correlation between all the problems that we've experienced throughout our history, all of the inherited uh, thoughts and feelings of of uh, you know all the wars and conflicts that we have gone through and we either when we, we, we pass this animosity and we pass the pain and the emotion on to our the, the next generation and so forth and it's been going on for you know, hundreds of thousands of years as we continually evolved our capabilities to speak to write you know in general uh, to express ourselves in linguistic even music has its uh, affiliation with all of that because music sounds you know pleasant harm harmonies or discordance uh, have certain uh, subliminal effects on not just us humans but it's also has effects on other animals with the capability of hearing you know um, but that's kind of a, a different different element I didn't want to go into, but music, language, uh, pictures, video, can't you see how it's all combined together to infiltrate our minds, to infil infiltrate and subdue our natural 
instincts and intellects. I mean, look at everything that's happened within the last, I don't know, just say 500 years. You know, people were persecuted, ostracized, beaten, tortured, imprisoned, executed, enslaved, whatever, just because they voiced opposition to the accepted uh, mindset of the group, the group therefore the, the village, the village therefore the city, the society in general. And I don't know how else I could explain it. Like I said, I don't have uh, all that great a command of uh, the English language or any other language. But the bottom line is all languages are the same, you know. And, and it's artificial intelligence to the core. You know, never mind all these... Uh, you know, the, the modern or the conventional definition of artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence has been with us since the beginning, and that is, you know, language. You know, the way we communicate with one another and the way we uh, use language to, to build things and the way we use language to manipulate people. That's how governments began to develop. Government is collective mind control. Um, stuff like that, I mean, and it, it took me a while to see through it. I don't remember when I actually started where I actually got a real good grasp of what was going on, maybe sometime uh, in my late teens or uh, my early adulthood, you know, where I saw people were just acting like robots, you know, doing what they're told. Um, but it's what we're dealing with is 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 massive it's everything is interwoven um, interleaved or everything is all interdependent of you know the languages we speak <sighs> how much time do I got left but anyway <sighs> but you know, it's just something that I, uh, something I think uh, people should think about and try and live outside of language and be flesh and blood compassionate creatures that we are, that, you know, and get over this human supremacy that you know we're we're better than any other life form on this planet because we're not we're actually the worst and a language has a lot to do with it <laughs>